Do you want to continue in this cycle? Do you want to continue living your life like this? Is this going to bring you to your goals? Is this going to bring you to the financial freedom that you want? Really, is this going to bring you to the financial freedom that you want? Stop consuming Isaiah. You don't need it. You don't need that shit. I'm going to say it again. You don't need that shit. Is it bringing it closer? <laughs> is it bringing it closer to your goals? Nah, fuck that. I'm not laughing. Hey, 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 hey. Tease, tease. We'll go back to the video with the only one. The one and only. El Do Mingo. Alright, so today's YouTube video is on. How did I stop smoking? How did I stop smoking from somebody that went? Some, from somebody that was consuming marijuana went from like 6 a.m. Because that was the time I had woke up for school. From 6 a.m. to the time I went to bed. It was, it was rough, you mean? Sometimes it's rough. And I know you clicked on this video because you yourself want to stop smoking. Nah, I was deep into this shit. I even had a whole YouTube channel, whole smoking YouTube channel. I still got it up right now. I mean, if y'all want to check that out, let me know. But let's get into it. So like anything else, so like any other thing in life that you want to accomplish, it all starts with mindset. With your mind first. With your mind, all right? With your mind, then action. Don't just say it, do it as well. Don't just say you gonna stop smoking. Don't just say that shit. I, I seen a lot of motherfuckers who say, yo, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit. But then, you mean, they gonna, they gonna keep me. Uh, I'ma I'm, I'm keep it a buck, I did. I did relapse one time, one time, but it hasn't even been a month, a whole month yet. But that's besides the point, you know. I'm a highest version now, and I'm continuing to evolve it. You guys as well want to get to your highest version, I believe. So, mindset, like I said, ask yourself why you want to stop. Really get this into your head. Why do you want to stop smoking? For me, it wasn't benefiting me in no particular way. It was just bringing my energy down at the end of the day. You know, at first, I was feeling like, ah. And then when it come down, I was like tired of shit. Ain't really want to do shit. Lazy. Not as productive as I could be. And I know all y'all want to be productive in this new year. Let me say that again. I know all y'all want to be productive in this new year. So, I stopped smoking because... I wanted to better improve myself, reach my highest version, my best version of myself. So ask yourself, do you want to be the best version of yourself? I'm gonna say that again. Do you want to be the best version of yourself, man? Ladies, gentlemen, do y'all want to be the best version of yourselves? Huh? Because does your best self, does your highest self consume za, consume any type of smoke? Like, how you doing right now? Really sit with that. Ask yourself, does your highest self only do, you should only be doing what your highest self does. If you want to attain your highest self, align with your highest self. It's not aligning. You really got to, you got to be, do, and then become. You know what I mean? So, does your best version smoke? Does your high self smoke? Aye. Now, or is consuming marijuana? You know, I have some notes here just to remind myself. My my brain be getting a little, be getting a little everywhere. So let's move on. Is consuming marijuana or any smoke bringing you closer to your financial freedom? Now, I know we all want financial freedom. I know we all want the ability to purchase anything and you know assets purchase anything without having to worry oh I'm not gonna have no bad whatever remember what you say matters everything you say matters 
So don't even put that in your head that you wouldn't even got bread and shit like that. But like I said, let's let's continue. It's consuming marijuana or any smoke, bringing you to your higher. No, no. It, let me shut up. It's consuming marijuana or any smoke, bringing you closer to financial freedom, better health, your highest version, more knowledge. Is it bringing you more knowledge? You know, one thing that really was fucking me up was I was trying to be on self-improvement, um, becoming my highest version, attaining knowledge. But since I was consuming Zara from 6 a.m. to like, to nighttime, so I mean, yo, I was not retaining none of the knowledge. None of the knowledge was sticking with me. Cause my memory, yo, that's one thing. My memory, my memory is improving like drastically now. But before, yo, that shit was like, like fue fue. That shit was like, oh yeah, it was, it was not. I mean, it was not, it was not good at all, but. It's coming back and it's coming back stronger now, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, you mean? And you could do it. Like, let me say that again. You could do it. I did it. I did it. I'm just a regular motherfucker. I did that shit. And you as well can. Believe it. No, know yourself. Remember who you were without before this shit. And remember who you were before this shit. And Ask yourself why you even started for real. So, I mean, let's let's continue. Let's continue. So, to not be really tempted, for me not to be really tempted, you know, cause I was I was really around this shit like, and I'm still around this shit like a lot. But it's just me reminding myself every day, or. When you see others smoking in front of you, that this ain't gonna benefit you in any way possible because there's other beneficial ways to calm slash relax the mind. Don't go the easy way out. Smoking and doing all that is making you comfortable. You thinking, oh, you won't gain more confidence when you smoke, blah, blah, blah. You won't, you won't like feel more relaxed. You won't, I mean, you won't like stop worrying about other shit, but. Why, like, instead of, like, not worrying about it, because you shouldn't worry about anything. You should just, like, solve the problem. You should just solve, like, find solutions. Journal, this journal, like, face your problems head on. Because if you just smoke that shit away, that shit is just always going to stay. When you don't have weed or whatever, that shit is just always still going to be there. So, go face on with the problems. You got it? Bro, you got it. Smoking is settling. You don't want to settle. Your highest version doesn't settle. Your highest version isn't constantly getting comfortable. So, yo, you got this shit, you mean? You fucking got this shit. And if y'all want any more tips or whatever, I'm definitely gonna keep making videos on this topic, you know what I mean? So stay strong and you got it. Remind yourself, you don't need this shit. You don't need this shit, for real. Yo, when I stopped smoking, I started feeling like more energized, more energized throughout the day. I started feeling more positive. Cause that's one thing smoking would do. It would like make me overthink a lot of shit. It would also relax me as well, but like it was weird. It would kind of make me over like double think everything. And you don't want that. Also stop saying it, do it. Be about your word. Cause if you are not about your word, that is losing trust within yourself. That is, and trust within self is confidence. Trust within self is confidence. So you are losing your confidence when you don't be about your word. So be about your word. Don't say it and not do it. Say it and do it. Say it and act upon it. Man. Like I 
I sell you got it? Nah, matter of fact, you don't fucking got it. Prove me wrong. Prove me fucking wrong. You don't need this shit, you mean? Prove me wrong that you'll stop. Like I said, I did it. And so can you. Peace and love to everybody. Gratitude. Be grateful for where you are right now. Peace. 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 Why the fuck is the video still going? Hey. Also, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself, for real. And be have patience with yourself. Alright?